You talked about the importance of defining racism, but I, but I, unless I missed it, which is possible, I don't, I didn't hear your personal definition. Is there, is there one that you would offer us? Like, how do you define racism? Sure. So racism, I would define it um, as a collection uh, of racist policies that lead to racial inequity that are substantiated by racist ideas. <laughs> What you just witnessed is a snake oil race huckster named Ibrahim X. Kendi being exposed as a total fraud with one simple question, define racism. He can't define it as we all know it because doing so would be admitting that he himself is a deranged racist. Why is this obvious fraud still being paraded around our media and in our schools? In case you haven't noticed, they are desperate to indoctrinate our kids. From grown adult men dressed as fetishized women stripping and dancing for kids to far left race Marxists who were indoctrinating the next generation of BLM foot soldiers. Okay. So and is, that, is that how you prepare children for racism without having a sense of fear and anxiety? Because like Gail mentioned, there are parents out there that want to remove themselves from this conversation completely. And then there's parents out there that just don't know how to do it, how to teach their child to be anti-racist. It is. And, you know, by the time our kids become teenagers, you have, uh, unfortunately, white supremacists are recruiting white, particularly male teens online. That's, that produces a lot of anxiety, especially if those White supremacists are telling those kids the problem are those other people. You are literally on a national news outlet right now making the claim that white people are the problem. <laughs> Urge to explode rising. First off, this isn't a conversation. Conversations have multiple sides. This well-documented hack is framing this as anti-racist and those who are against it as racist. Oh yeah, great conversation we're having here. I'm getting right back to shredding this segment but first check out this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Over the years, you've probably tried different investments in stocks and mutual funds. So you know they can be up and down all over the place. But with inflation running at 8.5%, its highest rate for 40 years, do you really need uncertainty? Being able to sleep at night knowing your investments aren't going to crash is worth its weight in gold. And speaking of gold, if you've been jumping from one investment idea to the next, a gold IRA with Noble Gold is perfect. With gold, you shield your gains from taxes. You keep the real value of your wealth. You own a global asset, something tangible, and you protect your wealth against an economic crash. What's not to like? And this month, for every cash deal above 20K, you'll get an incredible three ounce silver American virtue coin, completely free as a thank you. So call 877-646-5347 now to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. You can find that link in the description and make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. It is, and you know, by the time our kids become Teenagers, you have, uh, unfortunately, white supremacists are recruiting white, particularly male teens online. That's, that produces a lot of anxiety, especially if those white supremacists are telling those kids the problem are those other people. The problem here is that so-called anti-racism is just one of many Trojan horse words the left uses to disguise that it's actually the thing it claims to be against. Just imagine, a group of Nazis gets together and they hatch this plan to fool people by simply calling themselves the good guys and they start throwing around terms like anti-evil. Black Lives Matter, for instance. Who could possibly be against a group called Black Lives Matter? Oh. So-called anti-racism is just a CRT-derived ideology that literally uses what we would typically consider to be racist generalizations to separate people into oppressors and victims. It's a very transparent attempt to point the finger at one group, white people, and normalize racism against that group in order to fix racism. Again, Kendi himself has admitted this, saying the only way to fix past discrimination is current and future discrimination. Any moron should be able to see the obvious flaws in this stupid ideology. Didn't this guy ever learn that two wrongs don't make a right and that in doing so, you'll just endlessly continue a cycle as oppressors and victims switch sides. Unless, of course, your entire purpose is to destroy the country from within. In which case, good plan. And you're sharing with their kid, no, the reason for inequity 
are bad policies. That's what needs to change. Yeah, That's yeah. what's dangerous. That's protective. So they don't get attracted to those white supremacists. Urge to explode rising. Am I the only one who can see the obvious contradictions here? First, he accuses all white teenagers of being recruited by white supremacists. Who and what are white supremacists? We don't know because it's yet another one of their purposely vague words that they can throw around like word grenades. Is he talking about these kind of guys? The stereotypical skinhead thug? Or is he just talking about white people existing and who don't agree with him? The answer is all of the above because the agenda here is to coerce white people into signing on with this ideology. Basically, volunteering for third class status and casting white people who stand against it as the bad group. Hmm, the bad group. That group of people over there who are the problem? White people. What was it that Kendi just said? White, particularly male teens online. That's, that produces a lot of anxiety, especially if those white supremacists are telling those kids the problem are those other people. So according to Ibrahim X. Kendi and CBS News, the issue here is white people teaching their kids that black people and non-white people in general are the problem. And the solution to this is to teach kids in school that the actual problem is white people. So you're gonna use anti-racist policies that will use current and future discrimination to fix past discrimination which will no doubt lead to government discrimination against white people in the name of equity. And this is supposed to stop white people from joining white supremacists? So not only are these people crazed ideologues, they are stupid. But then they'll look at you and say, you're the racist actually, Ibram Kendi. I, I was watching someone on TV, you're the one that's a racist who's, who's promoting these ideas. You're teaching everyone to see race as yes, opposed to the opposite. Exactly. Well, I'm actually teaching people to see racism. Uh -huh. there's, there's a difference. difference. Like the, the race is a mirage. But racism is real. And it's, you know who's the most likely to be harmed by racism? Our children. And you know who we're the least likely to engage about it? Our, Our children. children. Our children. You know, yes. that's what's really so compelling true. me to do this work. Excuse me. What? What the hell did he even just say? He literally just spewed a bunch of gobbledygook that doesn't mean anything. And the reporters are like, yes. <laughs> Nothing he just said refutes the claim that Kenny himself is a racist. But they all just instantly agree with him even though not one of these threes understood a thing he just said yeah because you said sometimes you're raising people can raise racist ideas and not even know that they're doing it I think that's very important to make that a point to make yeah sometimes people do that and they don't know it if let's say you're walking down a, you know a street and you come across a, a black male and your child sees that you're scared you're talking to and that you haven't child said a word. you haven't right. said anything how about this? What if you're a black kid who's been told by your parents, your school, the media, that white people are oppressive monsters who are always out to get you? What if you're on a national news program and you're making the claim that white people are all indoctrinated into white supremacy as teenagers? Uh, There's a difference. difference. Like no, 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 no. You don't even have to tell me. I know. Is it important for parents to realize that we are fighting for our kids' minds and their spirits because if we don't teach them certain things, like you said, they will hear and feel and watch and see things even in the home, but especially when they're outside in school or even walking around every day. That, that is exactly the, the, the point. I'm right and you people are doing every one of those things right this minute they're talking vaguely about people but it's obvious they're talking about white people he just told you openly what they want your kids minds and spirits there's no conversation here there's what they want and if you oppose it then you're a bad person even though the very ideas that they're advancing here are exactly like the ones they claim to be against. All right, I had another clip from MSNBC that I was gonna share with you all, but I can't take any more of this guy. I do wanna invite you all to check out my channel over on Rumble. I'm gonna be uploading stuff there that I wouldn't be able to put on YouTube. You can find the link for that in the description or pinned comment. If you wanna support this channel, one of the best ways would be to just hit that like button, make a comment, share the video, and then subscribe. As always, I really appreciate it. See you next video.